Hello everybody, King Demps here. Uh, just to let you know, something I should have mentioned in the video which I didn't is Path of Exile is a free to play game. Uh, I will leave a link down below in the f description. Currently it's only in beta but if you sign up you get a chance to play the game whilst it's in beta. So uh, you might want to go and sign up and if not just at least track it so that when it's released you can get a hold of it. I will leave a link in the description. And have fun watching the video. F9. We will go Mark. Mark. <clears throat> Hello and welcome everybody. King Dempsey here bringing you some Path of the Exile beta gameplay. Uh, basically, I very recently got beta access to this game and I have not played it at all. So, I'm going to show you what it's all about. Um... Basically, what I understand of these leagues, I'm going to get straight into character creation, no messing around, that's how I do! Um, uh, basically, these leagues are to do with rankings and stuff, and how hard you want to play, hardcore, uh, hardcore legacy, legacy, and then default. We're going to go for default for now. Create. Now, what I understand is it has one, two, three, four, five, six classes. Uh, going from left to right, we have the Templar. We won't click on them because they start reading out their backstories and crap, and we don't have time for that! Uh, Templar, we have the Shadow, we have the Warrior, Marauder, that's the one, but he's a warrior. Uh, we have the Ranger, we have the Duelist, and we have the Witch. Sorry, I forgot what they were all called. They were right to um, fear me. See, look, she starts banging on about everything. It's like, shut up, go away. I don't want to hear you speak rubbish, woman. So, I'm going to be King Demps, as per the usual, and I'm going to be the Shadow, because from what I see, a simple job, he's a bit of a, a rogue side thing, a big mouth, and I kind of want to be no him. Was going to be the wise Why not? One. Tidy. Except okay. for one loose end. Uh, Me. name, uh, contains invalid characters. Shut. Apparently, I'm not allowed to spell. I shut him up. It was like professional integrity. Yes, silence, fool. Dying exile. Great. Uh, well, I'm getting a very Diablo <sighs> 2 like style vibe already. Oh, hello. Now we're on guard. Whoa, ourselves. what's this? That's some some crud, apparently. That's people talking. I'm going to ignore that. I don't want them to ruin my motion. You and I were the only ones that made it. Not counting my quiet friend here. <laughs> Why didn't they just bloody execute us back in Orioth? This little splinter bit sticking out of me. Missed all the important bits. Thought I saw smoke at those ruins up at the beach. Get some help and I might just... Oh! Oh! Punch! 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 Punch him! Punch the corpse. Wow, that's unfortunate. Woo! I got some things already. Oh, give me some of that. Give me some of that. How do I check my inventory? Uh, I? Oh, yeah, of course. Glass shank. That's cool. Double strike. Place an item in the socket. Right click to remove from a socket. Yeah, okay. So, now I have double strike. Oh, I'm already kicking some ass. Default attack. What's this? Is this on right mouse click? Double strike. Okay, I'm gonna go... Oh, it is! Come at me, drowned! Duh! Oh, punch that noob right in his face. Right in his face, Alt. Right, let's get some more, uh, get into this a bit more. Do I got a double strike? Cool. And a normal strike to finish him off. Um, first impression straight off, I'm loving the lighting. For a free-to-play game, which this is, um, the lighting, the graphics in general, the shading and the atmosphere, it's all beautiful. Look at the lighting engine. I'm getting a reflection of the moon and the water and the shadows. Uh, it's all very sophisticated. Um, which is impressive for a free-to-play game. I'm gonna just have a wander around here holding down alt just to see if I've missed any loot, but I doesn't think I have. Um, and yeah, the, uh, th this is impressing me so far, first impressions. Oh, the combat feels relatively meaty. I mean, I quite like it. The sounds and the animations, you know, I'm getting blood spurts. Uh, I'm getting some nice meaty sounds of the blade hitting somebody in the face. And yeah, in general, the the combat is feeling pretty nice as well so far. A little, a little bit lightweight, uh, but I'm I'm wondering if that's just because of my nap weapon I've got. Exploding barrels, that is always a winner. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, I'm getting hit from behind, and actually it's hurting me quite a bit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, run! Press one. Okay, that was a healing flask. Okay, cool. Uh, this has like a, it doesn't have a um. Uh, a consumable style on the healing and mana regen. 
uh, it has uh, basically cooldown. Uh, as you can see, 7 of 21 charges on you, 16 charges. Oh no, wait, they are consumable. I lie. Well, uh, since I last looked at the beta of this game, I watched somebody else do a video on it. It has changed somewhat, so, uh, okay. <gasps> a plate vest? Yes, put that on my sexy chest. Oh, it, it's already on. Okay. I didn't have to get excited and tell it. Um, so yeah, onwards we shall go. Hey, you, sand spitter, come. I will spit on you. Oh, God, they're actually spitting sand at me. That's unpleasant. Are they spitting out their bum? You. I don't want none of that. Hey, stop it. Hey, stop it. I'm, I'm dying here. Okay, don't worry. It's oh, nice ding! Ding! Yet. Ding! What did that guy say? He must have said something witty and funny, but I missed it. God damn it. I haven't been... Yeah, that's what I haven't been doing. Uh, let's pick that up. Let's pick up that glass shank. Oh, wait. Can I dual wield? Go on. Go on. Oh! Son of a bucket in the face. Oh, yes. Here we go. Dual wielding. Uh, what's that? What was that? Was that a staff? One-handed mace. Five to eight damage. This has got three to eleven, though. Nah, leave that mace alone. Or I'm gonna glass shank the absolute biznitch out of these people. Come at me, noobs! I'm taking you on with my double-handed swords. So yeah, so far so good. I'm uh, so far so good. Wait, yeah, that's exactly what I meant to say. Um, so far so good. I'm enjoying the game. The combat feels nice, and the graphics are nice, and the general atmosphere. Um, it's gone for a. I mean, I'm going to end up comparing it a lot to Diablo because it's gone for a uh, Diablo 2 style feel. I think a lot of people, including myself on initial impressions, uh, felt a little bit hard done by the... Oh, I got a sexy new helm. Oh, that is some tasty stuff. Some wands, some clubs, some scepters. I'm all up in people's faces. Scrolls of wisdom to identify stuff. And I think... The gems have durability, which is interesting. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, I think a lot of people uh, are going to end up comparing this game to Diablo 3. Um, seeing as it's... it's, I think it's what a lot of people felt Diablo, 2 sh uh, Diablo 3 sorry, should have been. I think Diablo 3 with the art style went a little more down the cartoony route. Uh, when I say cartoony, I mean I think everything was a little bit softer, just in terms of animation style. Not necessarily in content. Oh, I can level up. Oh, what have I done? I just clicked something by accident. Uh, oh, oh, that's my uh, that's my map overlay. But yeah, I think a lot of people might look at this art style and this atmosphere and the kind of vibe that this game goes for and say, this is like Diablo 2 updated. Why didn't Diablo 3 go for something like this? Um... And I think it's a fair criticism, and I think the answer probably, without being too cynical, is I think Diablo 3 with its softer, slightly more kid-friendly uh, style, uh, the way it goes about the art and such, makes it, yeah, a little bit more accessible to people who weren't familiar with Diablo 2 and who aren't familiar with uh, hack and slash RPGs in general. Um, and this, uh, whereas this is a little bit darker, it's a little bit more... A little bit more real, I suppose, so makes it a little bit less palatable for some people, I would guess. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, uh, personally, I, I I didn't buy Diablo 3 purely for the digital rights management side of things, but we won't go there on that. Um, but uh, what I did play of it around a friends and what I saw of the game... Uh, I liked it, but I, I do feel that some people could say, feel a little bit hard done by with the way Diablo 3 kind of moved away from Diablo 1 and 2's roots. Uh, and this kind of returns to that. So if you're a fan of Diablo 2 and thought, What have they done to you, Diablo? Oh. 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 Hello, sir. Are you, uh, are you a man? Oh, ow! You're a, you're a beast man. What are you doing? Ow! Uh, you punch me and it hurts. Oh, this is nice. This is feeling meaty. Ah! Oh, it feels like he's really getting some hits in on me. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa. He whipped out a sword. Uh, that's not good. Bam, bam. Run away. Oh, God damn it. This sucks a lot of stuff that's not nice on my body. Come on. Come on. Double, double strike. Double strike. Just spam it. Spam it. Who cares about mana? Well, uh, who saw that? I know I did because I was playing it. Right. I. Right. Let's have a look at what we've got. Simple road. Energy shield 11. Requires 16 intelligence. Well, we're not going to wear that, are we? Energy shield. Energy shield. Blah, blah, blah. All of this wonderful crap. Orb of chance. Upgrades normal item to a random rarity. I'm going to save that as well for now. Right. Let's get a passive skill point. 
Now, uh, let me just show you something. Is this not intimidating as hell? Uh, essentially, this is the skill tree, uh, quite obviously. These little orbs here are st classes. These are, are, are where your class starts, and this tree is how uh, you distribute all your skills. Now, it looks very intimidating, but I think going in here and kind of looking at it like this is a slightly more less intimidating because you kind of look at the immediate branches off of which you can uh, off of which you can go uh, and then you start building it along further and further and further now basically what this is for is for a ultimate customization you can be you know i mean you just look at the amount of options you can get here if you go down here you can go up here and bugger off over here whereas someone with the exact same classes you might go round down to here or might go over there or uh, there's all sorts of different ways that your class can turn out so it's customization but it's also freedom because uh, if you want to be a mix of two classes you can kind of get your tree along here and then maybe come down here and move around here it really does depend on how you want to play the game there is some direction obviously because you can't put some skill points over here and then think oh but i want some skill points from over here you have to kind of go down roughly the route that has been chosen by your class but there's a lot of freedom within that so uh, it, it, that aspect of this game is incredibly cool uh enter town for your reward i'm going to pick a passive skill now i'm looking over here which is the first route i can go down uh which is spell related and i'm quite liking what i'm seeing i kind of want to be a spelly rogue, so I think I'm going to go for increased spell damage and see where that does in fact take me. So, um, let's have a look at my character screen. Uh, yeah, this is your character screen. This shows you just some basic stats by yourself. There's your classic stats, intelligence and dexterity. I'm clearly going to be magic and one-handed rather than strength. I'm not going to be tanking anything. I'm going to be more of a DPS. Now, we're going to enter the town to get our reward and see what is the hap in town. Okay, here we go. Lion Eyes Watch. Uh, just to let you guys know, I'm, I'm learning a lot of this as I go along as well because I looked at the game very briefly quite a while ago. I, I would say months ago. That's another player. Hi! How's it going, friendy friend? Um, so I'm learning a lot of this as I go on. So I don't know everything about this game. This is more of a first impressions than anything else. Letting you know what it's like to... Whoa, waypoint. No, don't want to go there. Letting you know what's to like, what it's like to play for the first time. Uh, microtransactions. Not interested in that because I don't actually know all that well what it does. I'm going to uh, put everything in my stash for now. Again, it's got the Tetris-style inventory system. Very similar to, yes, Diablo 2. Um, and so I'm just going to play a bit of inventory Tetris. Small mana flask. Don't need that at the moment. Orb of chance. Don't need that at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to these Welcome exclamation to marks. I'm not going to listen to what they say. Find a medicine chest. Buy, purchase items and sell items. Let's see what she's got. Well, she seems to be magic-y related. So uh, that's good to know. Judge it. Bestel. There's continue. Continue. Find a medicine chest again. Drown is the strangest dead. Thing. Okay, so this guy seems to be mostly uh, information related as an NPC. Fine work with Hillock. Fine work what with Hillock. Ah, here we go. So can I select? I can select one reward. Now, what I am tempted to do is oh, this levels with me. Ah, I thought that bar was usage or or. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I can't... The integrity of the item? I can't think of the word right now, but anyway. Uh, since I've already got a... A green one on this, and I can just remove it when I fancy, I'm going to select this blue one because it casts an icy projectile. So that gives me a spell that I can use. So I'm going to use that. Oh, did that put that straight in? Ah, that's nice and helpful. Uh, and then this is freezing pulse. So as you can see here, I can... Uh, now cast freezing pulse. Uh, is this the middle mouse button? What is this? Is this the middle mouse button? So, okay, here we go. If I press a middle mouse button, oh, it will do I freezing don't think pulse. I need now. To be doing that. Awesome. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at my. I'm going to look at the nose support first, actually. Public parties. Ah, so this is where you can create parties and go and play with friends and stuff. Right, that's interesting. Um, okay, uh, tab, let's have a look. There doesn't seem to be anything else going on in town apart from this waypoint uh, and this entrance to the starting area, which is over here by this orange gate. 
and this entrance I'm guessing to the next sort of questing area possibly oh no terraces let's have a look see what it is it might be the next questing area or it may not if it is I'll just have a little look I think it might be okay so what this game has is it is similar to Guild Wars again making comparisons with other games um, if you have played Guild Wars, it has uh, instanced uh, f uh, everywhere, basically. The normal world is instanced, so if you go in on your own, you will do all the quests on your own. There's not people running around with you, like in World of Warcraft, for instance. Um, but in towns and cities, it is uh, all everybody. It is a persistent world, so you'll be in towns and cities with everyone else. So when somebody else is in a town, you'll be in a town with them. Uh, uh, so it's it's different from other hack and slash RPGs like Torchlight or whatever or Diablo where you actually have to physically connect with someone to, to play a game with them. This is uh, more like a massively multiplayer online RPG. Uh, yeah, one of them. Uh, but it's hack and slash, so a little bit different from WoW and Guild Wars, which would be the ones you know most people would be familiar with. Um, welcome back, everybody. Had a connection problem there, so I was disconnected from the server. Um, and so, yeah, whatever. We'll continue. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open the character panel. I'm trying to find where my quests are. So, going to look like an absolute noob here. Ah, here we go. We need to go to the world panel. Uh, this is interesting because it seems to lead you on in a little quest style thing. But anyway, we're going to do um, Slain Hillock, done that, Mercy Mission. Inform you that a ship beached on the tidal island contained a medicine chest. Find it and take it back to town. So we're going to click that as our active quest. And I'm hoping it's going to show me where the fudge I've got to go. Uh, apparently not though. It doesn't look like it on the map. Um, so we're just going to beat a few of these noobs up. Resist chaos. Hmm? I am an agent of chaos. Wait, that was a rubbish joke impression. I am an agent of chaos. That, uh, that wasn't very good either, but you know, we'll, we'll go with it. It's the best we got. Ba ba, gonna kill the skulking wretch because he's wretched. Okay, so uh, combat is amazing on this game. I love it. Um, what are we looking at? We're looking at our map screen. No, that's microtransactions. You are a skulking wretch. How's it going? Stabbed your face. Unlucky. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Map. I don't know what that is, but we're going to open up the world tab and have a look. So we need to get over to here, which is where the question mark is. So somehow we need to find a way to get across to that island. I'm guessing it'll be another orange kind of gateway type thing. So that's what I should be on the lookout for. I'll put my map tab away in case that's something that might annoy you. Uh, I like this little frosty skill that I've got, the freezing pulse from my... Um, here we go, small mana for us. Apologies, I forgot what it was to look at loot. Um, it's the, another Diablo-style system where loot doesn't automatically show up on the ground. Uh, you have to press Alter. I'm impressed by how much this place wants me dead. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, this place impresses me with its attempts to kill me. No, it doesn't. It depresses you. It's horrible. Nobody likes it. Um, so yeah, anyway, loot, you have to press and hold a button to see it on the ground so that it doesn't get in your way. Again, intimidating skill point tree. Where do I, what do I do? What do I, I'm just going to go in here and be calm. Spell damage, 9% increased spell damage. So we're getting some more spell damage. So let's test out our Bamadoodle. Took off half his health. That's what I like to see. Bamadoodle. Um, so we're just owning some people with our spells. Spamming away on my clicky clicky. Running around while this guy throws rocks at me. You're very basic, my friend. Rock throwing, not the best thing you can do. Uh, punching, that's a bit more manly, a bit more up close and personal. I, I, I can do, I can agree with punching. But uh, what you were just doing, right, I'm going to see if I can get these guys in a line. So I can, Bidona! Oh, I froze them, I froze them, I froze them. Oh my god, that was badass, suck a nut. Right, click to level up this freezing gem. Do, go away, stop it. Right click to dismiss without leveling the gem up. Well, why don't I just level it? Why would I not level it? I don't understand why I wouldn't level it. But, oh well. Uh, well, <laughs> we'll overlook that. <laughs> Who cares, anyway? Uh, I think what I'm going to do, folks and folkettes, is... Oh, die, apparently. Ah, no. Invigorating. Invigorating. I've been invigorated by this. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Die, die, all of you. Okay, I like this combination of magic and fast uh, melee combat. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this quest. And then I keep forgetting to check for loot. I'm not very intelligent. Let's check and see we didn't miss any, which we did. Luckily, we came back for it. Aren't we clever people? Right. Open up. I have a little looky-see. Got some iron greaves there. Rusted cask there. Plates. Ooh, quality plus seven. Well, we'll swap them. Oh, put that there and put this here. Shabby jerkin. Oh, evasion rating. I like a jerkin. Jerkin for gherkin. Sounds fun. Uh, I'm going to finish this question. Uh, that will be the end of this little first impressions video. So um, I'm getting a tiny bit of lag here. That is the only problem with a internet connection being required. Obviously, if your internet connection has a bit of a lag or somebody on your system is downloading or something and such, uh, then you're going to have a few problems with your connection, which is never a good thing. But we'll, we'll work over it. We'll work over it for now. What? Yeah! Oh, only managed to get one of them. That is a shame. But, you know, we tried. We made the effort, and that is what's important, guys. I will kill you all! Come at me, bro. Um, I'm not seeing any way to get across to this island. If it takes too long, then we'll just cut the video short before then. I've shown you the most important things. Combat and all that crap -a doodle All that shebang and shaz. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. No, none of that, guys. Oh, I'm owning some of them. Most of them. All of them. Come on. Die. Thank you. Uh, there's a chest over there. Let's go check it out. I feel like I need to keep my map open in case I miss this stupid uh, thing I'm supposed to be looking for to get to the island. Uh, ah. Oh, oh, they're all spitting sand at me. That's, uh, that's not pleasant for anybody. Uh, particularly not me because I got sand in my face. I'm getting sand in my shoes and my iron greaves. That's just annoying me because, I mean, it's not pleasant having sand in your greaves. I don't know if you guys have ever had sand in your greaves, but not a nice experience for anybody. Because it puts you in a bad mood well, when you get sand in your greaves. Anyway, uh, continuing to open up some chests, get some loot. Too much this is a bit of a... Oh, now, here comes the unpleasant part of these games. It's trying to sort out loot. What do you keep and what do you drop, guys? That is just the question to end all questions. And this bitch is giving me a dirty look, so I'm going to fling some fire in her face. I mean, frost. 